Hi everyone, my name is Paula Santiago, I use she, her pronouns, and I'm a representative of the St. Louis Queer Plus Support Helpline, also known as Squish. We are honored to be a part of Carnaval 2022 and wanted to use this time to celebrate the resilience of the queer Latina community. I want to start by reading an excerpt from a poem titled, All the Dead Boys Look Like Me, by Christopher Soto, a queer Latina poet and activist who is the son of El Salvadorian immigrants. The hands of my lover yesterday praised my whole body, made the angels from my lips Ave Maria full of grace. He propped me up like the roof of a cathedral in NYC before we opened the news and read, and read about people who think two brown queers cannot build cathedrals, only cemeteries. And each time we kiss, a funeral plot opens. In the bedroom, I accept his kiss, and I lose my reflection. I am tired of writing this poem, but I want to say one last word about yesterday, my father called. I heard him cry for only the second time in my life. He sounded like he loved me. It's something I am rarely able to hear. And I hope, if anything, his sound is what my body remembers first. Colonialism, white supremacy, and queer phobia have systemically tried to erase queer Latina love, but radical art like this poem showcases the resilience of the queer Latina community. Prior to colonization, many indigenous Latina communities embraced queer people. Queer phobia has been historically a Western colonial import, and since their arrival in indigenous land, white European colonizers have tried to violently repress queer people. The legacies of colonial violence continue to echo in our modern day systems of institutionalized power, like the immigration system, which attempts to rob queer Latina people of their humanity and forces them through physically and emotionally violent conditions. These oppressive institutions try to teach us that we should conform, that we should not love each other, that it is a cruel and competitive world and that we must fend for ourselves. These ideas are baked into the so-called American dream, which we are taught is our path to dignity and visibility. But the queer Latina community loves and lives on. The sites of concentrated violence and oppression are also the sites of immense power that the status quo is rightfully afraid of. Every queer Latina person who is in this room or in your family or community is a site of resistance and love whose story deserves to be understood and uplifted. At Squish, we are invested in building supportive and affirming community for queer St. Louisans, and we believe in the power we all hold to create resistance movements through compassion and care for each other. This framework of grassroots community support runs through all of our projects, like a community-run peer support helpline, call data and advocacy, and volunteer engagement programs. We have a lot to learn from our queer Latina friends and are revamping our work to combine queer liberation with racial justice and healing across all our programs. By improving language access and creating spaces for queer Latina folks to build community and solidarity, we hope to continue providing healing and organizing spaces for queer Latina people. We are honored that ALAS has chosen us as their philanthropic recipient this year. All proceeds will go towards supporting Squish's mission and programming. If you would like to further support Squish's work, consider volunteering with us, buying our merchandise, or becoming a monthly donor. More information can be found at our table and on our website, www.thesquish.org. Thank you for sharing this incredible space of Latina celebration, and we hope to continue building community with all of you.